Okay, so today's video we are going to be looking at installing Zomberry admin tools. So this video is just going to be about how to install it and how to get it working in your server. This, is, this has been requested by somebody from a previous video I did saying it would be helpful to them. So they've asked me to make a video on it, so I'm going to make a quick video. It's not going to be that long because it's quite a simple process and hopefully this will help you guys out a lot if you're having problems installing Zombie admin tools. What I will say quickly before we start that if you have problems installing this on your servers to let me know follow me on my discord and drop me um, a message on there and i will help you guys install it uh, personally myself the other thing is my server is run off ping perfect okay so that's what i'm going to be doing this on i'm going to be doing it on ping perfect i will drop a link if any of you guys are interested in renting your own server out through ping perfect i will drop a link in the description below so you can click on that link it will take you directly to that site and if you want to run your own server from them, you're more than welcome to. But this is what I'm going to be showing you how to do. So first, I'm going to show you that we haven't got it installed. Okay, now these are the mods we've got installed. I don't really like a lot of mods on my server. I like playing it, I wouldn't say close to vanilla, because I understand I've got a few things, obviously, that aren't. But, yeah, I don't like... I don't like a load of mods except traders and all that sort of stuff. So there's a few mods on there so I can enjoy and that's what I play on. So to install, install Zombie Admin Tools, it's, it's fairly simple so I'm going to take you through step by step. The first thing we need to do is to install any mod is click on the Steam Workshop. So this is going to bring up now all the mods in the game and you can just flick through them and obviously find any mod really that you want to install. So for this we are going to want to install Zombie Admin. So we just type in Zombie. Okay, and then that's going to bring up the Zombie Admin tool. So we just need to find out the right tool that we use. So I'm going to go to page one, because I was set on page two. Now this is the admin tool that we're going to use. This is the one I use, and this is the one I have more success on, okay? So we are just going to press install. When it's installed, and we're going to look at this number. So it's 15 and ends with 848. That's the number there that we are going to need to put on our command line, okay? So we're just going to wait for this to install, and then we'll get through putting this on the command line. Perfect. Okay, so that's installed. So what we're going to do now, okay, we're going to click on our file manager just to make sure that's here, okay? Now, if you remember, it ended with 848, so it was 15848, so it's this mod here, okay? So just to double check, you're just going to click on this mod and this will tell you then if it's the admin tool and it is. You can see it's admin tool, okay? So what we need to do now is just go back to this and we need to copy this number. This at number here we need to copy, so click on it. Highlight it, Control and C, or you can obviously right click and press copy, but I press Control and C, and then just cancel. Now, it's important, okay, now these are the mods I've actually got on the server already, okay? So you can see if I got a daisy launcher, and this is where I use to check that the mods are working. We need to input the zombie admin tool after CF, so CF needs to go first, and for some reason it's gone back to front, okay, so the bottom one is the first one I've put on, okay? So CF needs to go first, so we need to make sure our zombie admin tool goes between CF and winter. Don't just, don't just put it at the end, put it after CF. So the way to do this is to click back on our server, sorry that's my second server, I can see I've got a couple of servers when ping perfect. Click, click on this, so you're going to click on the command line, you need to click on selected, so you've got the daisy launcher. Go across to selected, and we just need to click, click this. Now th these are the mods that we are going to bring up, okay? So all these numbers here are all the mods that we've brought up and that we've got on the server. So like I said, CF was on first. So if we go right back to the first mod, you've got CF. Okay, so this is the CF mod. You need to go after the semicolon, and then we're just going to press Control and V, okay? Which is going to insert your daisy, uh, sorry, your zombie admin tool number, okay? Now what you need to make sure of is that you put a semicolon now after the 8, before the at. So if you noticed, after the last number, before the at, we've got a semicolon. So we're going to input that, and now we're going to push apply. What we're going to do then is pretty much just make sure this, before we start looking yet about adding ourselves to the zombie admin tools, I just want to make sure the mod works on the, on the, on the server, okay? So we're going to wait for this to install, and then we're just going to boot our server up just to make sure that we don't get any problems. So we're going to now restart the server. Okay, so that's restarted, so we're going to highlight this number here. And we're going to, again, we're going to copy that number, so it's Control-C. We're going to go to our daisy launcher, and we're going to 
delete this even though it's the same number i always delete it you could just reset it but we're going to reset once we click reset once we check server again with that query in port number we want to make sure that cf then zombie admin tools and then winter and if it falls in that order that should be fine okay so we're going to just reset this we're going to paste in and check okay so we've got zombie admin tools back perfect so what we're going to do now that okay just having that mod done that isn't going to enable you to actually use the mod what we're going to need to do is we need to go to profiles you need to click on profiles and because we've restarted the server what you should have now is you should have a zombie file which is this file here you can see it's automatically generated a zombie file so we need to click on that once we click on that we got admins.cfg now i'm going to be honest okay the reason that's popped up on mine is because i already had the uh, the mod on the server when you first open your zombie file all this file might be blank okay so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create an admins.cfg file if you haven't already got one the way to do that is simply just click on new file and type in instead of custom you just obviously type in admins make sure that it's all in small as well don't put a capital a in or a big a just make sure it's all smalls cfg and then press ok no i'm not going to press ok on this because i've already got the file okay once you've done that and you've created this file you need to click on this the edit button and then once you go in here it will just be a matter then of inputting your steam id in and however many friends i, I believe i've got about four people admins on my server at the minute so you click edit it'll take you to the next screen then you'll input your uh you'll input your de details your steam id so I'll press edit and as you can see obviously i'm going to blur my these details out but i have four people already on here for uh being admin on my server so you just need to click save and that is done what happens then we're going to reset the server again okay now i don't need to reset it from where i am but if you've just put yourself if you've just created that admins.cfg file you've just copy and pasted your steam id in there you will need to reset the server so just to show you i'm going to reset the server again okay and every time i reset the server you don't have to do it i just do it for so far but i copy this number again i reset and I just paste this number in. I give it a moment just for the server to catch up and check server. If it comes up red, okay, that didn't there come up green, okay? If it comes up red and it says there's an error, give it a second and retry. Now, there might well be an error, but more often than not, you've just done it a bit quick for the server to kick back in. And you can see there that our zombie admin tools are still in state. So to make sure now this is working on our server, we are just gonna boot our server up. So I'm gonna open up the launcher. Okay. Now this is the server I play on. Obviously, there's a couple we've got a couple of servers. There's a group of us with a couple of servers. Apocalyptical resistance servers. If you want to join our Discord, you're more than welcome to. So the server I just did was the hardcore version. So there's no one on there at the moment. So I'm literally just gonna boot this server up and go in, and then we are gonna see if the zombie admin tools are working. And just when the server loads up, I just want to take this opportunity to obviously just wish you guys a happy new year. I'm obviously well I'm filming this on the 2nd of January so this is the first video of 2021 I've got a lot more videos to follow uh, the video after this I'll be doing a melee weapon the best melee weapons I use in the game then you're interested within obviously hit the sub button and like button all that good stuff and get ready to check that video out hopefully that'll be coming out within the next week or so um, but yeah, so that's coming out soon. So that's the best melee weapons. I have got more plans again for best guns, etc. But we'll go into that in a future date. So we're just going to wait for this now to kick back in. So we've just rendered in. Um, what we're going to do now is the perfect way to test this. We're going to see if we can just turn this from day to, uh, sorry, from nighttime to daytime. You want to press O on the keyboard, O for Oscar, and there you go. There are your Zombery admin files, as you can see. It comes up green because you're an admin. If there was anybody else on there that was an admin, they'd be white. And any admin comes up in green. I'm not going to go through all the functions because I've been through this in a previous video. But just a test to make sure this works. We are just going to change this time to day. And boom. It's now day on the server. So we know them admin tools are working fine. And obviously everything's, everything's working as it should be. And the server seems to be running relatively smooth. So 
that's a simple way of obviously installing this on your system. If any of you obviously want help into doing this, like I said, follow, follow me on my Discord or drop me a message, get hold of me. Drop a comment on this video if you want and I'll give you further information. I've got no problem at all taking some time out. I've done this with two people now in the last week. I've taken time out and I've actually helped them installing mods on their servers. I've got no problem at all helping you do that. And if there's something that I don't know or I don't understand, I will try and find that information out for you and help you guys as much as possible. So guys, I'm going to end this video there. I just want to say thanks for watching. Like I said, I do have plans for adding extra videos to my channel. I'm going to just check if I, there's a landminer placed up there still there. It's still sitting there. Nobody's tried breaking into my base, which is good. But anyway, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, if there's any other content that you want to see specifically, then drop me a message and let me know, and I'll create content that you want to know where that's going to help you guys out. Failing that, I've obviously got some plans of my own to put on the, on the channel as well. So, guys, have a good new year, and I'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.